I only knew some of the history of it. I've never been there, so I didn't know the experience. But I remember driving there and seeing all these people and the people on the back of lorries, trucks and tractors coming to an upper side. That was so cool. Like, I just thought it was just like, just like a family affair, like, you know. When I got to an opera side, I was like, wow, like this, it just the energy of it was just like, so we're going through the procession and like, I, I saw the horses. I was like, oh man, all I wanted to do was just jump on some of these horses the whole entire time. I'm just staring at the horse like, when am I going to ride? Like, <laughs> can someone get me a horse? Can, you know, and so it's just like, yeah, yeah, Penji, we'll let you ride later. But I was really serious and I'm very stubborn sometimes. Being in the energy though with the with the saints felt like it was like back in time, you know, like in a story. When we got into the field, it was like all these horses running past and it was like really you know, it was like really dangerous, like you know, not knowing where you're going, there's no organization at all. So the group of people that I was with, they're like, We're leaving. And I was like, Wait, what? Wait, we just got here. Like the whole thing, the procession, like just to get to this place, now we're leaving. Like I was like, no way. So I was like, all right, okay. So I like went with them. They had rented a bus, I guess. And I got on the bus and I remember like being like, okay, bye. I guess I'm just gonna leave. And the whole time that I was sitting on the bus, I was like, God, this really sucks. Like I don't, my whole entire soul and being was like, I'm not in this bus. I'm still back there, you know? So we get to our destination. It was probably like two miles away or a mile. I don't even know. But I ran all the way back. As soon as they opened the bus, I was like, sorry you guys, like, I was just like, bye. <laughs> so I literally ran back all the way to the like stadium. I knew a couple of things still there. They were like, oh, here's a horse, yeah, but it was like huge horse. Like, it was like, this horse was like, nobody was riding it. It was just like, kind of like showcased. Like, oh, look at this huge, amazing horse. Like, oh yeah, Penji, this is the horse, you know? <laughs> Uh, and it was probably one of the biggest horses I've ever gotten on. So he like jumps like on its back legs like twice. On the back of its, you know. And I'm like, alright, now I know what I'm working with. So I remember the horse, as we, he goes down the second time, decides to turn around and run. Like just full on like race horse running. Not galloping, not canter, just run. And I was like, okay, full throttle. There's all these people all over the field. I was like, oh my God. I knew a certain uh, method of stopping a horse on that kind of issue by my own trial and error of like working with horses like that. And so I stopped the horse and uh, and I was I was kind of shooken up a little bit, like really like, wow, I, this is a, like, it was a really powerful horse. I felt really honored and it was a really beautiful experience. And next year I rode again, but this time I raced. And I, no one got me a horse. I still had to go and try to get another horse. And five minutes before, I got a horse and ran down the field, you know, with the other things this time. And by goodness grace, I was all right. And yeah.